Welcome or welcome back to the Lockhart Chronicles. My name is Larissa and today we are going to be doing a book haul. <laughs> All right, as you saw from the thumbnail, hopefully, I have a huge stack of books that I recently bought since my last book haul, which you can check out up above if you would like. There are six 16, 16 books in this book haul. Whoopsies. Now I'm cheating a bit because I don't have one of them yet. It's my book of the month book from this month as of May and it has not arrived. It's arriving in two days. However, I'm going to be gone from my place here for a week and a half. Um, so. I will not be here when it gets here and I didn't feel like bringing all 16 books to the place I'm going because I'm already packing a lot. We're gonna make this quick and easy because a lot of these are series. All right, starting off with the ones I've been talking about the most. Oh my gosh, why, why is there such slippery covers? All eight, all eight. Oh, the struggle's real, all eight. Bridgerton books. I've already read the first four. You can hear all of my thoughts on the first four on my April wrap up. And then from now on, I will hopefully just be reading the last four once a month. So for the next four months, hopefully we'll see. I'm such a mood reader, so I don't know if I'm gonna wanna continue on just binging them again or just doing once, one every month, kind of spacing them out. I just don't want to burn out and I'm nervous that that's going to happen. Next up we have, I'm so excited, I got the hardcover of Once Upon a Broken Heart. It's so beautiful. I really wanted the Fairy Loot Edition, which is pink color scheme and beautiful, however, they're sold out and the ones that people are selling are outrageously expensive. So I went to Book Depository and picked this beauty up. It's so beautiful. From my understanding, there is this girl, Evangeline, who strikes up a deal with the Prince of Hearts because the guy she loves is getting married to another person and the Prince of Hearts bargains and he's a little bit of a trickster, kind of like a like a Rumpelstiltskin, Loki kind of character is what I'm getting the vibes from. He says that she has to give three kisses at any time of his choosing for the rest of her life kind of thing. So he can pop up out of nowhere and say, oh, you have to give me a kiss kind of thing. I think, I believe a spinoff series of, I believe this is a spinoff of a different series, Caravel. Horrible, but I've heard you can read this as a standalone and that's what I'm planning on doing and I think this is going to be a series as well. Next up, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I know they're backwards right now because they were in a box or are they backwards? I don't know. A Court of Thorns and Roses series. The first four, I am missing the fifth because it doesn't come out in this size paperback until August, I believe, and I am not going to do that to myself by ordering a hardback of a different size in a series where I already have four. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I'm very like matchy matchy with my books. I have heard so many people loving this book. I try to, or this series, and I try to stay, I'm just gonna hold this one. Um, I try to not hear anything more about it. The only thing I know, people describe it as like a Beauty and the Beast, not retelling, but inspiration from, as well as fairy porn. And I said, say less. And I have been wanting to read these since I heard about them last year and I just haven't gotten around to it. So I am so excited because I will also be doing what I'm doing with Bridgerton, what I'm doing with Game of Thrones is reading probably one a month just because I want to get to other books. And I, but we'll see, maybe I'll just be completely invested and want to continue on with the series. 
Who knows? Mood reading? It's fun. <laughs> but I am so excited to read all four of these and then eventually the fifth one. Next up, uh, my book of the month pick last month was Kaiki and it's a Indian, I want to say Indian or Hindu mythological retelling. The tagline is, I was born on the full moon under the auspicious constellation, the holiest of positions. Much good it did me. I'm so excited. Again, I don't really like to know a lot about books before I go into them because I like to be surprised and just enjoy the experience and not necessarily worry about when or what's going to happen. So, but I am so excited. Look at this cover. It's stunning. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So I'm excited to get to this. And then this next book, this next book I have been waiting for since I heard it was being released. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Emily Henry was one of my favorite authors last year, followed by Taylor Jenkins Reid. She wrote Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation and People We Meet on Vacation is one of my all-time favorite books now. Again, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really like look at anything. I saw Emily Henry, Book Lovers, and it's a book for people who love books as well as romance. <laughs> one Summer, Two Rivals, a plot twist they didn't see coming. Nora is a literary agent and she keeps bumping into Charlie, who is a grumpy, looks like, brooding, a bookish brooding editor from back in the city. So she keeps bumping into Charlie. And obviously, force proximity, you know things are gonna happen. And I am so excited about this. And I love the little book stack on the back. It's so cute. And like their luggage is full of books. I thought it was sub sandwiches at first, but books make more sense. But I am, I'm so pumped. I will be reading this in a reading vlog coming next week. So if you have a copy or would like to read along, you can do that as well. And I'll be doing a reading vlog while I'm not here, uh, while I'm house sitting and cat sitting. So I'm so excited for this book specifically. <laughs> And then, lastly, I will throw it up on the screen. Um, my book of the month pick for May is Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I kind of struggled picking this month's pick. All of them weren't really reaching out to me. I wasn't like excited about, I was debating between a couple of them and this was the one that ultimately gave out because the other one just seemed a little bit too heavy for me, especially after reading in five years. I could not, I could not. And this one just seems so fun, so cute. There's a little, I'll try it. Oh, I'll just throw the thing up there, but there's a little baby goat. There's a little baby goat on my thing. And that's, that's honestly what sold me on getting this pick. Uh, it is an emotional, oh, <laughs> I just said I didn't want to read emotional, oh well. It's an emotional book, family drama, um, rural. So, after a wild bet, gourmet grilled cheese sandwich and a cuddle with a baby goat, Alexis Montgomery has had her world turned upside down because Daniel Grant, a ridiculously hot carpenter who's 10 years younger than her and as casual as they come, the complete opposite of sophisticated city girl Alexis and yet their chemistry is undeniable. Oh, interesting. Okay, so she's there's an age gap with the woman being older, which you don't always see all the time. Yeah, so it sounds like a small town romance, which is cute. I feel like it's just gonna be a like feel good, hopefully Hallmark-esque book, but we'll find out. All right, that is the end of this book haul, I think. Oh no, there is one more. Oh my gosh, totally forgot about this one. It is the Fantastic Beast, Crimes of, The Crimes of Grindelwald by J.K. Rowling, the original screenplay. Um, here's the cover. Obviously, like any Harry Potter book that comes out, I need to add it to my collection. So, I need to rewatch this. I don't really remember much from it and I haven't seen the third one yet either. 
or is there a third one or am I just making no this is the second whichever one I need to watch the most recent one and then get that book when that comes out because they're so pretty I love like the embossing and like the gold it's beautiful now <laughs> with that being said that is the end of this book haul so there were 17 books that I <laughs> purchased recently since my last one I think I hope oof yeah because I don't know I don't know that last one was also kind of hefty but that's gonna do it for us if you like this kind of videos or any of bookish content you have come to the right place and feel free to give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my bookish content please feel free to subscribe it's free we've been doing weekly uploads they're fun put them at two speed even more fun <laughs> um and with that remember to respect others respect yourself and do something amazing with your day thanks bye <laughs>